everyone knows that before the Hedgehog came along, the fastest character in video games was Bo Jackson. He was Sonic before Sonic was Sonic. You wanna know the most effective play in football? It's called the Zigzag. It involves Bo Jackson and Zigzags. He could outrun time in Tech Mobile. Can't outrun sh in this game. Oh wait, that's because he's not even in this game. <laughs> Bo Jackson, two games in one for the original Game Boy. And it's probably fair to point out that yeah, this thing came out in 1991, and the whole idea of a handheld gaming platform was still kind of a new thing, so you know, it's not like games were really pushing the Game Boy. Then again, you, you had Metroid 2 in 1991, so I guess some games were. But point is, I can understand this game being limited and simple. That's not this game's problem, though. No, this game's problem is that it's limited and simple, and crappy! So obviously, it's two games in one. You got baseball and football on one Game Boy cartridge. And that's actually a pretty cool idea for 1991. So in lieu of a menu, you choose your game by choosing pictures. Scroll left to show the baseball players, and then pick baseball. Scroll to the right for football. It took me, like, actual time to even figure out what was going on here. Not a long time, but, I mean, I, I, mean, I had to think about it. Not a good quality for a menu. Anyway, you finally get to the sports, and there's something weird. I mean, it's seriously like, either these games were designed by two different teams, or this was actually supposed to just be a baseball game. And then at the last minute, someone was like, oh, actually, we need, we need to throw in a football game too. And so they had to squeeze it in in, like, a week. Because as much as they both suck, football's way worse. So, uh, let's, let's compare and contrast here. You start baseball, and you actually get some teams to choose from. Not real teams, but real places, so that's not bad. But in, in football, you start the game, and you go straight to the coin toss. And then the game tells you, oh, you're gonna be east, and you're, you're up against west. Like it's fucking early 90s hip-hop wars. Anyway, the game starts, and then in baseball, you actually have like a nice looking interface. When you're hitting, you have the classic view from behind the batter's box, and when you're on the mound, you get the, the bases loaded view. Not that it plays well, because it doesn't, but the game actually looks pretty good, especially for a Game Boy game. But with football, it's suddenly, it's suddenly the Atari 2600. Look at this! So the aesthetic difference is just huge. Like I said, either football was crunched for time, or there were actually two teams working on this thing. That, that's the only possible explanation. But in terms of gameplay, well, the, the turd butter spreads across both of them, evenly. In baseball, the game gets so choppy when you're trying to hit, it's just impossible to time your swing. And when you're in the field, uh, you can't see your outfielders on fly balls, you never know who you're actually controlling, and the AI is awful. You try to turn a double play, and either the shortstop's not even standing on the bag, or the first baseman just, oh, whoops, my bad. I get, we'll get him back next time. Oh, and fuck you, Bo Jackson! But then again, football, I, like I said, even worse. Running plays are just completely pointless, so you're always trying to pass, but then, like, you can't even see your receivers. So, literally, you have to just guess who might be open, and hope for the best. Then again, it's kind of fun. It's like, you throw the ball, is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be bad? I don't know. A am I gonna care? Probably not. It's like Peter Pan football. I'm playing against my team's own shadows. I guess if there's any positive to be gained from this, it's that you can you can link up two Game Boys for multiplayer. Also, there's a baseball player named Kitchen. That's about it. Gameplay's lousy. Sounds like crap, but it keeps giving you these creepy Bo Jackson mug shots. So weird. This thing was sent to us by Doug from Lomita, California. Thanks, Doug. I'm gonna have nightmares from this thing. Two nightmares in one! <laughs>